Hello everyone, I'm going to show you why I love this Ninja Specialty Coffee Maker. I think this coffee maker looks really nice. I'm going to show you what the coffee maker looks like and then I'm going to make a pot of coffee. Up here is where the coffee filter goes. It comes with a reusable coffee filter, but you can put a number four cone filter in there. Paper one. This slides in and out very easy. It's got a carafe. This is a 10 cup glass carafe. And it also has a little fold down, little fold down tray to put a coffee mug on when you want to brew a small uh, cup of coffee. It also has a, a warming plate that will keep the coffee warm. Over here on the left, it's got a storage place for the scoop that shows you exactly how much coffee to use for whatever selection you use. And then it's got a built-in milk frother. Anytime you press the button, the frother is frothing. And it's very easy to clean. Just take it on and off. Very easy to clean. Over here on the right, we've got a water tank. And we can take this water tank on and off. And so that we can clean it. We can fill it up with water. We've got nice big markings on the water tank to show us exactly how much water we need for the different types of brews. It's got a very nice display. It's got a, a selector here that we can select different sizes. As we rotate this around, this little light lights up to show you exactly what size we'll be brewing. We can do a half a craft, a full craft. When you do a craft, it turns the warming plate on. When you do these travel mugs and these cups, it does not turn the warming plate on. You can do a classic brew, a rich brew, and an over ice brew. You can also do a delay brew. You can have this uh, brew you a pot of coffee in the morning when you wake up, and you can turn the warming plate on and off. It will turn, the machine will turn the warming plate off automatically. It has this specialty brew, which is, which is a concentrated four ounce. That's going to do a four ounce brew over coffee grounds to give you kind of an espresso shot, like a really strong concentrated coffee that you can use the milk frother and make like a latte or cappuccino. It has a clean light to let you know when it's time to clean. And it also has a clean function also has this manual drip stop. So if you want to grab a, if you're brewing some coffee and you want to grab a quick cup of coffee, put that to drip stop. It'll stop the coffee from coming out the bottom. And when you put the craft back, you can go back to open and it'll continue the brew. Okay, so let's show you the size of a travel mug. It'll take almost an eight inch, seven and three quarter inch travel mug. And the coffee maker is right at 15 inches tall. And width, it's right around 12 inches. And front to back, it's right around nine inches. Okay, so I'm gonna make a half a craft. Let's turn the selector switch till the half a craft lights up. I gotta make sure I've got enough water in here, which I do. If I didn't, I could just fill the water up right here. I'm gonna pull this out. I've got my reusable filter in. I've got my scoop, and it says for a half a craft, I'm gonna look at this picture right here, three to four of these, of these big scoops. And this just takes normal coffee for like a coffee maker, drip coffee, ground at a medium grind. So there's one. Okay, so I put four scoops, four of these big scoops in for a half a craft. If I wanted to do a full pot, I would do four to six of the big spoons. And again, this is very well made. This just slides back in and it kind of snaps. Now again, depending on what brew you want to do, I'm gonna do a, you could do a classic, a rich, or an over ice. So a rich is kind of like a bold brew. I'm gonna do just a classic brew. So you just press the classic button coffee maker was already on the half a craft light is lit and you just press the classic button the stay warm light comes on to let me know that the, the warming plate is turned on so the coffee maker starts brewing right away but it's going to pause so it's going to brew a little bit of, of hot water and then it's going to pause for about five to ten seconds and then it'll continue the brew okay so here's the pause so you may think the coffee maker is done brewing, but it's just a little bit of a pause to help with the brewing process. And then it starts back up again. You can kind of tell when it starts heating the water again, you can hear it. There is a light down here to let you know that the warming plate is on. It's a relatively quick coffee maker. Now, since I've got some coffee in there, if I want to grab a quick, even though this is still brewing, if I want to grab a quick cup of coffee, just push that to drip stop. That stops the coffee from coming out. It also stops the brew. I can get a cup of coffee, put this back, and then go back to open it back up and let the coffee come out. 
Okay, let's get a temperature of the coffee coming out. 196. That is really hot. 196. There's the coffee coming out at 196. There's the stay warm light that's on. Okay, so when it's done, it beeps at you and says the word end. When it's done, move this over to drip stop. Let's pour ourselves a cup of coffee. The craft pour is really nice. Let's see how hot this coffee is. Yeah, that's a really hot cup of coffee. 175, very hot cup of coffee. I've been drinking the coffee out of this coffee maker. It tastes really good. That's a very nice cup of coffee. Let's go up here and see how the coffee grounds did. Here's how it brewed the coffee grounds. Cleanup is very simple. You can just take this whole thing over to your trash can or your recycling, and then you can take the filter basket out and uh, get the coffee grounds out. So very easy. All of this is dishwasher safe. And again, the nice thing about this is I could brew right into a travel mug by using this selector switch, two different sizes of travel mugs, and then two sizes of coffee cups. I really like this coffee maker, and I'm very happy I purchased it. Thanks, everybody, for watching.